Michelle Full works for Bremer Bank and Marshall and has been in the banking and retirement planning biz for 35 years. She also helps Pioneer PBS staff with our retirement planning. She helped me, a retirement planning novice, understand how this is impacting people's plans. Can you talk about how the this pandemic is impacting people's retirement planning? Well, probably the biggest thing that people have seen, they've seen their retirement plan balance go down. The market, the stock market was at an all time high on February 23rd, on February 19th. And in the next 23 days, the market went down 34%. So people have been very, um, it was a very drastic drop and the low was on March 23rd. What we encourage people to do as, as they approach retirement, we want people to get more conservative. We want them to look at getting bonds and fixed income into their asset allocation. So there's stocks and then there's bonds. And so we want people to lower their stock holdings and increase their bond holdings so that they are more conservative because the bigger swings, the bigger volatility is on the stock side. And so if your asset allocation was appropriate going into this, then it's going to be appropriate now and coming out of it. The younger you are, the more aggressive you want to be. Um, and so for young people, this is actually a time to buy, maybe a time to increase your deferral. If you have a 401k, make your IRA contribution now. And if we look at fixed income assets year to date, so a bond, that's when you borrow a company some money, they pay you interest and then you get your money back. If you look at those assets year to date, they're up 5%. So if you were conservatively invested, you may actually have a positive return year to date going. So you would recommend if that if someone had not done that yet to pivot and maybe look into bonds. Is there still time to do that? Not now. Oh. I would not do that now. I would you'll hear people say stay the course. So whatever your asset allocation was going into this recession, just stay the course, don't make any changes, and then when we come back out if you look back and go, ooh, that what that didn't feel real good, I was really concerned, then maybe at that point you need to get more conservative and look at putting in more bonds in your portfolio. So when we hit retirement, again, we have those three legs that we're going to get our income from, Social Security, our retirement plans, and our personal savings. And actually, coming into this recession, our personal savings was over 7%. So the average American was saving over 7%, which is quite high when we went into the recession the last time, I, I wanna say it was around three. What, um, there's a lot of people I think that are that live paycheck to paycheck um, and maybe don't have the option to save as much as they would like. What advice would you have for people like that? The most important thing is if your company has a match, Defer from your paycheck, take dollars from your paycheck and put it as much as you need to to get the free money that you're getting from your employer. That would be first and foremost. Save as much as you can, but if you can get at least your employer's free money, that match dollar, try to do that. What, that, that would be my best. Have you seen, um, so with businesses shutting down and people being laid off and furloughed, are employers still matching in that sort of same sort of way? You know, uh, of the plans that I have, I do not have any that are, are lowering or, or, or removing. So, and, and actually I have very few um, businesses that are, are, um, are having furloughs or having terminated people. So I think out in rural, we're not, um, and maybe we're all we're always a little late in seeing some of the effects. Um, but I, with my colleagues, other colleagues that I've talked to in different parts of the state, they are seeing a few employees, employers reducing their match or, or um, stopping it for this year, but not very many. Is there any aid um, the federal government aid, the CARES Act was just refunded? Um, that for retirees? Yep, that's a good question. So we do have the stimulus stimulus checks that have been sent out, mailed out. or So those, all retirees should receive that if they qualify. The other thing the CARES Act had within it is that required minimum distributions have been suspended. 
And what so that you'll hear them called RMDs. So required minimum distribution is if you are over 70 and a half by 1 1 2020, or now the new law is 72. So if you're over 72 for this year, you have to take out a certain portion of your retirement plan or your IRA. Um, if you're in a retirement plan and you're still working, you don't have to, but let's say you, you aren't working anymore and you needed to take this required minimum distribution. It's based on your life expectancy. It's calculated as of the 1231 balance of the prior year each year. What the CARES Act said is for this year, for 2020, retirees do not need to take that required minimum distribution. Now, if you have taken a required minimum distribution within the last two months, you can actually put it back into your IRA. So that's really nice. The key, the key to remember is that with a required minimum distribution, when they become required again, the penalty is very large. There is a 50% penalty if you don't take that out. So if you have an IRA, let's say you have to take out $1,000, and you don't, your penalty is $500. So it's very important to keep your eyes on that and make sure that when you need to take it out, that you do. So has your your job changed in any, I'm sure it has in any yeah, crazy way. It, our bank lobby has been closed for several weeks. Um, you know, they're talking about pet petitions between each of the tellers. Uh, the thing, hand sanitized stations. The the thing that I'm probably the most anxious about is the amount of debt that we as a country are taking on. But on the flip side of that, um, having been in in the industry for 35 years here, I don't worry about the stock market coming back. I so I don't have that anxiety because I feel we are a strong country. We were strong coming into it. We will come out of this recession like we have every other one. I did have a follow-up question about the Social Security aspect of it, um, but I feel like that's such such a big topic to talk about. I don't know if you have any ways to sum up the future of what Social Security might be. I would tell people don't plan on that, that leg to be the 40% that it is today. Social security for me is different than it was for my father. I think social security will be different for my daughters than, than it is for me.